Hey, what's up guys? Double here again. Welcome back to Waves of Steel, the sponsor of today's video. If you want to know more about this game and play it for yourself, you can check out the link down below. We're going to have a good look at the game today, and if you guys want to see more gameplay from Waves of Steel, be sure to leave a comment and a like down below. Uh, there are some pretty cool uh, features to this game. We've got um, a variety of different um, play modes here. We can do free play, there's ship designer and missions. I think we sh we're just going to go in and play a mission to get a nice, uh, you know, sort of um, overall look at the game and what it has to offer right now. There's a modding availability and you can actually add your own decals to the game, like your own your own symbols and your own designs so that you can create your own fleet and I think that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to see if we get to do that in this video, otherwise we'll figure that out for another one. I'm pretty sure we're going to play this again. Uh, the center cannot hold. Um, and um, we're just going to jump straight in. It's, it's definitely a first look. Um, some parts can be built on top of superstructure. Take advantage of this to maximize the use of your deck space. That's really nice. You can click, you can get a new tip. Your ship's engines can only handle so much power. There's no point in installing more power plants than you can use. Nice. Let's, uh, go ahead and see what this is about. Ooh, Naval Base Cavit, Philippines. I love the design. This is the sort of, uh, ooh, look at this. Nichols. Captain's on deck. At ease. Lieutenant Nichols, allow me to introduce Captain Merriweather. She'll be joining us for a shakedown cruise. Uh, a pleasure to meet you, Lieutenant. Yes, ma'am. Welcome aboard the Denali, ma'am. All right. Relax, Lieutenant. I'm not here for a formal inspection. I just wanted to see the people who will be protecting the Ratatosk on the next leg of her journey. That might be some sort of merchant ship or something like that. Um, okay. Interesting. The Bureau. She's got some cool uh, pearls there. This is interesting. Well, I'm not really sure what sort of era. I guess it's sort of modern. Um, anyway, I want to get started straight away. So let's see what, what this mission is about. Let's take a look at the engines. Oh, she designed the ship. That's cool. All right. Sound effect. Oh, alarm. Air raid. I guess we're in war. Unidentified ships have entered the harbor? Damnation. Okay, we're gonna get out of the dock or the port. Engine room, raise full steam. Oh, sick. All right, okay. So, play the combat tutorial. It covers basic movement, special powers using weapons and weapon targeting. You can always replay it later. Takes five minutes. I think we got the time for that. Use the move. Uh, that's the... Okay. Right. Move the camera to check behind your ship. All right, there we go. Let's take us back slowly. We got speeds that can be seen on the right side there with a mini map. Uh, skip. Press S. Okay, so we put it in reverse. W is uh, going moving forward. I'm not great with uh, with with ship language like starboard port uh, port side starboard all that stuff. Okay, we can see the guns they're being aimed here. Whoa, we got airplanes in the air. Okay, that's an ally crane. Let's put it in neutral, or uh, what do you call that? And then we're going to steer to the right. Oh, look, at all the guns are kind of more or less following our, our aim here. It is a little bit, it does like auto-target a little bit to make things easier. So that's cool, it snaps onto some things. Four 50 caliber guns is what we're currently controlling. We can see we have torpedoes, anti-submarine, and other weapons as well. We're getting a distress signal, sir, the destroyer Shasta is under heavy attack and needs assistance. Your ship has engine overdrive module that gives a brief boost to speed. Press shift to activate it. Okay. You also have a dodge module. Okay. Control and ramming module. Space. All right. A dodge and ramming. What does a dodge do? I guess it moves us left to right. Oh, that put us in a lot of speed. So you can have massive ship battles in this game. Are these down unidentified ships? Something's going on here. We're going to have to identify. That's an, that's an enemy. I believe. No, that's an ally. Gun cruise. Mark targets and engage as soon as we're in range. You got it. The map shows position and terrain. Yeah, there's our enemy. It also marks the position of important missions items with a red X. Uh, the gray circle indicates the range of your radar. Let's engage. We're in range. All guns, fire. 
The blue circle marks the target closest to the center of the screen. Your guns will automatically aim at this target if it's within firing arcs. Press it. Left mouse button to fire. So I'm really excited to... Oh, we're hitting. Oh, we're taking fire as well. I'm really excited to... Oh, we destroyed it. We sunk it. I'm really excited to see the massive battles. Because if you do free play, you can do battles with like 280 ships or something. It's insane. Oh, that guy person... That for, uh, ship or destroyer or whatever it was fired. Um, torpedoes. One hit. I want to try and do this whole like boost. And then there's control that like takes you to the side. There's, there's definitely some more arcade features to this game. But... I think that's pretty welcome. What do we got up here? Uh-oh. Those are important targets, and they're engaging us now. Cruiser with our main guns. So now we're going to skip, uh, swap to our main guns. Press E to lock your targets. Your guns will automatically track the lock target no matter where you're looking. Okay, that's cool. Let's target that one. C to change lock target left to right. Target the Hawk class cursor. That must be that one. The big one. Fire! Hawkins. We're almost firing like... Oh! Oh! We took a lot of damage there. Let's do some evasive maneuvers. There we go. The cruiser escort should need some time to reestablish a chain of command. Now's our chance. Switch to the torpedoes. Sink the destroyers before they can mount a defense. Interesting. Uh, that would be tab. That's what I was wondering for. I was looking at that. Torpedoes firing broadsides. So you will have to sail next to your target and fire them. Let's go ahead. I think if we... There we go, that sunk nicely. Oh, there's a pickup. Let's swap back to a... Let's fire another one. Oof. One more fleet just entered the base, sir. Let's go ahead and see what that's about. Oh, they're back there. We're taking on a lot of enemies here. Once again, really interested in going into free play and the ship designer part. Making, like, building some huge ships. This reminds me a bit of... Uh, Let's just launch some torpedoes while we're at it. I wonder how long it takes them to, to reload that. Oh. Depth charge. Oh, we just fired a depth charge. There's no point in doing that. Speed up a little bit. Oh. Oh, we just dodged those. Let's see if we can actually, like... Oh, we just... Oh, okay. That was a quick... That was a quick move. I think those are, our torpedoes are going to be out of range. Let's speed up a little bit. And let's launch some torpedoes. There we go. We dodged the... I don't know if you guys picked up on that. But we did dodge a bunch of torpedoes in the... By using that control. Uh, by aiming to that side. Depending on where you're looking. It's gonna it's gonna make you dodge. So we, we, took a, we took a quick camera spin. And clicked control. And it pushed us to the other side. Which definitely avoided a lot of damage. That one's down. Yeah, we got a good ship here. Just gonna fire away. I don't know. It's just 50 cal. This is definitely larger than 50 cal, but that's just a formality. The assault attempt has been defeated. Okay, we're gonna pick up some power-ups. I believe you can upgrade your ships and control more. No sign of additional enemy ships, sir. Well done, everyone, but where did this ships come from? Sir, the crew for number one turret have reported an issue with its tracking. They're unable to elevate above five degrees. That's not good, but the Ratatosk leaves soon, and we don't have time to put it for in for repairs. I can help you with that, actually. Captain Merriweather. The Ratatosk is fully equipped floating dry dock. Bring the Denali in and we'll take a look at some of your guns. We'll have it back in action in no time. All right, cool. Uh, we can end the mission now. That's the tutorial, more or less. So let's go ahead and pick up those things. Okay, we do have the uh, 75. Okay, maybe, maybe in this regards, 50 caliber is a different thing. I, I'm, once again, don't know much. We got photos from the... Uh, what's that? You can... Oh, look. We got some some like photos from from yeah from the battle itself. That's that's pretty pretty rad. We can change these. So that's like mission briefing. Cool. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. Complete. 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 We got uh, Farragut Bridge, Farragut Vent, Sakura class destroyer. We unlocked a bunch of new things here. We can now use Ship Designer. I think that's part of a uh, a look at the game and what it has to offer. I set up a small studio on the Ratatosk for working on my designs while we're at sea. The Ratatosk has all of the equipment needed to turn my designs into reality. In addition to making new ships from scratch, I can also upgrade existing ships. As long as the Ratatosk is nearby, you can make any adjustments you need. Cool. Uh, here we go. And here's number one turret. 
Uh, that would be there. Pull the whole thing apart and replace it. We're going to pick it up. Use escape to discard it. Ugh. Feels bad. Okay, so we're going to machine a new weapon. So we do, we can make as many as you like of that. So the button next is your weapons you've unlocked. Choose the main guns option and find a single barrel, 50 caliber. Uh, main guns. That's, ooh. Why don't we build a five inch? That's a four inch, 101. It's a four inch, 50. Once again, it is, it makes sense. They, 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 they're not confused to it being a 50 caliber machine gun. It's, I'm probably in the wrong here. Not exactly sure how that makes. Oh, oh, wow. We can build two. Or we should just build, can we build two? Now nah, we're just supposed to build one. Okay, we can rotate it. Why don't we add some more firepower to the rear of the ship? Sounds good to me. Point defense? What's that? Okay, well, we're supposed to build these, so let's go ahead and do that while we're at it. And then rotate. There we go. Part is not entirely on deck. There we go. We recovered some plans to build 5-inch guns. Let's clear some space for the new deck guns. Let's delete those. There we go. 5-inch. Oof. Nice. That's on point. Okay, so... Oh, we can shift the gun sight. So this is interesting. We want to move them back here. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, we're supposed to add two more. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Shift and then... Oh, because we need them to be behind them. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I just noticed... Look down here. I just noticed the the the, the side view. That's from the above. This is from the side. So let's, let's go ahead and move them up a little bit. Like right so. Nice. Torpedo launchers. Uh, we, we're going to... I suppose we're supposed to delete these. Rotated with R... Slide it forward a bit and free some free up some space. I do like that the tutorial sort of tells us what to do so that we get an idea for the next time. Mass is 936 out of a thousand tons. Um, we can fit two more. Should we remove some armor? I don't know if I like removing armor. Set your armor to two inches. Okay, so we freed up a lot more. Do we? We're gonna be just a pack and ship here. 21-inch torpedoes. And then we're going to rotate them and place them right there. We're, we're point defense, weapons mounted midship from aircraft. I believe they might be... Um... What's that? Cool. Uh, did we... We're going to save this ship. We'll, we'll call it the Denali. Uh, return to the ship designer. Were we supposed to build some point defense? 1.1 inch. Ooh. We could free up some some space here. Can we build them here? Oh, wait. Can we? Did that would just work? Did they did they funk? No, I don't think they can. They couldn't be built there. The, the it should be green. Wait a minute. We only have one here. Where's the other one? Let's build one more. There we go. Part is not on deck. Uh, I'm not sure what we've done here. Why is this red? I thought we were supposed to build two. Lost to overlap. I'm confused, but we'll uh, we'll see what that does. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that wasn't an invalid part. We'll, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep this and then we will um, we can unlock all text but I don't want to do that um, okay close menu and what what do we do now uh, we I guess we exit let's move over to the next mission and play that one as well the cats away one week later we're still in, oh, we're in Guam now 
Lieutenant Nichols, do you have any more information on the force that attacked the Philippines? So it is kind of like World War II-esque. No, sir, we're still not sure where the ships came from or who had control of them. But Guam is still more of a some naval base, right? Damn, it's so bizarre. Touch base with Admiral Weaver's staff. See if they know anything. I don't know, sir. I'm not sure if she'll answer. I gave you an order, Lieutenant. Okay. Naval base Cavit. Or Cavite. It's classified. How is it classified? If we're in war. But well, we've received a distress signal from Guam. We have to support it. The defense is there. The rest of the convoy will proceed to Truk. Catch up with him. Over and out. Alright. Alright. Ooh. That's a whole convoy. We're gonna go to torpedoes straight away. We're gonna sink as many as we can. Hopefully we'll hit some other ones as well. Five inch? We're just firing all the guns at the same time now. Oh, we're taking fire. Oh! We hit... Oh, we just took tor two torpedoes there. Have to pay more attention. Okay. I wonder what flight that is. That one's down. Larger guns have a slow rate of fire, but we can tell that we've added them now. But those are fast. Oh man, a lot of PT boats. Oh, gotta avoid those torpedoes. And also pick up some additional. Let's just do right like that. There we go. Nice. Let's pick up this. Might be some tech. Small anti-ship rocket. I love rockets. I wanted to spend more time in the ship designer. Let's swap over to torpedoes. Let's launch those. That's going to hit and probably take it out. So when, when you're in this firing mode, there we go. Just avoided two torpedoes. Oh, they hit us with one. Oh, we're just taking on the entire navy here. We're some sort of super ship. I wonder what health we're looking at right now. I haven't seen any damage reports. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and skip out on all those torpedoes. Boost a little bit, and hopefully not get hit by that one. Wait, we're under so much heat right now. We're carrying the entire US fleet here. And before some landing ships to set up their own airstrip and guns, we'll need to take them out to keep Guam secured. Okay, so they've landed with the convoy, and they've, uh... They've begun, uh... They've begun setting things up. So that's something we'll have to look into. Those, they keep, they keep coming at us with the PT boats. A little worried about those ones. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up some health. Some repair. I love this boost. Okay, we're going to move closer to Guam now. That PT boat, honestly, couldn't be bothered. Oh, we got the automatic AA, the point defense. Targeting enemy aircraft. That's nice. You can free fire as well, which is nice. 70 knots. That's a fast-ass destroyer, man. I'm not sure we should be firing at... Oh, are, oh those are enemy... Are those enemy bunkers? Swap ahead and go... Torpedo. Ouch. Can destroy enemy shore forces. Oh, look at that. So now we can target the... Uh, out of range. Now we can target enemies using the... Uh, Go ahead and slide over here a little bit. Found some new tech. Nice. Let's swap over to our main guns. Target these facilities. There we go. That's an allied bunker. Let's not engage that. Ooh. People gotta get rid of these PT boats too. Good work, team. Now let's head to Trick and regroup with the rest of the convoy. Cool. All right. So that's a brief mission, but there's definitely a campaign going on here. And now we can probably move back to our... Um, Oh, we failed to stop the landing ships. Right. Uh, we were too busy destroying uh, a gazillion other ships. Uh, there's another mission now. Paraly para paralysis. But we can go back and load our ship. And maybe now we can get some, some more things. I'd really like another one of these. 
that won't work though. Uh, why not? Okay, can we can we delete this? Can we move this one like here? Yeah, I I'd like that more. That looks better. Um we would probably need flag strands and lights. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a whole lot of flags. Uh can we We can fly our own flag. Uh Wait a minute. That's approved. How do I I can that's a lot of flags. Well, Okay, we got this. We should have our... I think I added my own design to the... Um, that's interesting. I think I added my own design to the... There's a lot of flags here. Uh, sub takes this for cowards. It's... It's um, it's interesting. It's quite creative. These are folders for flags. A whole lot of designs here. I have my own. Customized paint. Oh. Oh, we can get the camo. I think there's like... Can we do something like that's like semi-realistic that I've seen on ships before? They do it to like, uh, to like try and dissipate from the, uh... I think they do like this kind of gray and black. Increase the scale, lower the scale. That looks nice. Angle it a little bit. That, that reminds me of like a World War II destroyer. That's cool. I think that the, the, the flags, though, they... Uh, let's remove those. There we go. Um, otherwise, they kind of ruin the camouflage a bit. Uh, we can configure some weapons. What they target and what they're good for. Focus. Auto fire will all focus on all targets on the same targets. Use only a ship. Less so against aircraft. There's so much more to look into this. Um, definitely want to try out some new guns. But we this ship, I think it would be good to start a new ship design on like a bigger... A ship that can handle more mass. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know down below if you'd like to see more. I'd like to try more as well. Uh, we can definitely continue the campaign and see what's going on with the, the whole, this whole invasion of Guam and stuff in the Pacific. Um, but guys, thank you for watching. Uh, check out the link down below. Thank you once again to Waves of Steel for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.